Hello, everyone. Hey, I felt like this announcement was going to come in a couple of months. Uh, and this is a happy announcement if anybody's worried. Um, bittersweet, very bittersweet. We're moving. We've been in this apartment for I think five years now. The reason I say that it's bittersweet is because I love this house so much. If you guys have, why am I gonna cry? Oh my god. We've gone apartment hunting quite a few times. Whenever our contract is up for renewal, we always look around and we just haven't found anything that is within our budget, within our kind of, I guess, like other constraints, like places we want to be in, location and stuff like that. We just haven't found anything that is better than this place. And this is where I'm here to announce we're not moving. For the most part, I feel like you guys get me, but I do get some comments about why do we live in such a small place? And it is everything that we need for Kurt and I. We're so happy here. It's it's so just like really is the perfect space. This was, you know, the first apartment Kurt and I ever got together um, after we got married. Like it, it's just, I just really, really love this house and I'm so, so thankful for it. So um, very bittersweet that we're leaving and that we're leaving so soon. We're actually going to be moving out in about a month, but we found a new place. There's a building that I've had my eye on for a very long time and I just keep checking whenever they have openings and I found one. We actually, I can show you some footage, I think. Um, we found one apartment that was out of our price range. Feasible if we were crazy. It had three extra rooms, so it had like a kitchen, which was a nice sized kitchen, a wonderful sized living room, it had a bedroom and then two extra rooms, two bathrooms. It was it was a absolutely perfect space, um, but it just wasn't going to work out. But then we decided to see one house that was significantly smaller. And so originally I was kind of against it because the whole point of us moving is to get a bigger house. And even though this was bigger than our current apartment, it wasn't like the jump in size that I was kind of thinking of. Turns out the second we walked in, we were like, yep, yeah, this is a perfect place. So um, I'll show it to you later. Where we are moving, we will have two other rooms. I know we will have not only our living space, but we will have an office and a bedroom. It's, it's like I said, really, really bittersweet. I laid in bed all night last night thinking like, did we mess up? Like, because <laughs> I'm not really a mover. I pick a place and I stay there for a long time. Um, in my life, I had my childhood home. I moved to dorms in college, but like they've always just been dorms and I've never thought of them as like my home. And then when I moved to Korea, I had an apartment here. I moved after a couple years to my own basement apartment, which I loved, but like wasn't <laughs> incredibly attached to that basement. Um, and then I moved here. So really in my lifetime, I've only had like two places that I have lived in long term and called my home. And this is one of them. And this is the one that I've like had as an adult. Yeah, it's going to be really, really hard to leave. <laughs> I'm, I'm so happy, but I'm so sad. <laughs> We're excited. We are excited, but I just like need to say my goodbyes and that's rough. So uh, for this video, um, I kind of had other plans for the week, but um, I think I am only going to be thinking about my apartment from like now until we move. So rather than torture myself and go do other things and pretend that my mind isn't on it, um, I'm going to stick close to home and I'm going to kind of do some preemptive purging of things, reevaluate and give some stuff away so that we aren't moving a ton of stuff. And also I know that my trash manager is the nicest man in the world, so I have no fear throwing stuff away here in the new building. I'm not sure. So I don't want to move to a new place and then have a ton of trash and then get yelled at and then be scared for the rest of my life to go in that trash room. I love this man. I wish I could take him with me. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to do. I think for today, I have to actually do a lot of editing and stuff. So I'm really going to just be staying at home so I think I'm going to catch you tomorrow. So yeah, if you guys have loved this home as much as I have or loved it alongside me, um thank you. I love it too. <sighs> okay, I will see you tomorrow. Let's, let's clean up this beautiful home. <laughs>
Hello. Now I'm home, very hungry, so I'm going to eat, and then we are going to start slowly but surely cleaning things. <laughs> Prioritizing, looking in my junk drawers specifically. Here we go. So one of the things I'm most excited about for the new, for the new house is the kitchen isn't incredibly larger but the layout is different so it's more of like a u shape and i feel like that is going to be a lot easier for me to film um and i'm also going to be closer to a light source so i feel like my kitchen here i don't like filming because the food never looks appetizing because i'm under this light our new place the kitchen is much closer to the window so even if i'm cooking like at night or something there's just more opportunities to have nice light sources i'm just really excited about that but today still in my tiny kitchen i'm really hungry so i'm gonna make this really quick um i found these on b mart low cow whatever i don't don't super care about that but um these like ready-made chumchi kimchi bokumbops you literally just put it in the pan with a little olive oil for like three to four minutes and I always like crack an egg on top and it's just the perfect meal and it's got a lot of like peas and carrots and yummy stuff so that is what I'm having for lunch come join me and gonna be honest with you guys I have not been sleeping for like the past two days I haven't been sleeping at all because I just keep having these panic attacks of like did we make the right decision do we have enough storage um, where are we gonna put everything because I'm I said this already but I'm like such a creature of habit that thinking of moving and like having to reorganize my life that has been kind of set nicely for four years or however long we've lived here um, it's really kind of making me panic but I'm feeling a lot better now we're gonna be okay <laughs> let me know like I'm am, am I alone in this because I feel like all of my friends are very like so excited to move and they move often even though I'm excited to leave like I just feel really stressed and I don't think I know anyone who really shares that so please let me know if I am or am not crazy um here's my vocal box <laughs> Of course, the one time I film it, it turns out really ugly, but it's yummy, so. <laughs> oh, I should wipe. Okay, before we fully dive in to decluttering just a little bit, because we do have time after we come back from the US to pack things up, I wanna share with you uh, something that is like a casual addiction constantly in my life but now there's actually a reason for me to be using it so it feels good before i show you that though i want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video which is squarespace squarespace helps you host your online presence i have carriecakes.net i've had it for years so i use it for a personal blog but because of things like their comment sections they have email subscription lists they have ways to connect to your social media accounts. They have scheduling, they have monetization features, they have an incredible analytics section as well. You can make anything from a blog to an online community to a shop, and it's just so incredibly easy to set up. They have free templates, which if you go to squarespace.com right now, you can play around with them, see what your website would look like before you launch it. And then when you are ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes and get 10% off of your first website or domain uh so thank you as always to squarespace and let me show you what i'm addicted to so you guys hopefully know about mirror by now it's my husband's company if you are looking for a way to organize your online life if you have bookmarks that are out of control too many tabs etc you can create different sessions for different things so i have now my house dreams session so i have things over here for like the rugs that we need certain Ikea things, just having a lot of stuff up. But a really common website that people use is Onlejip, which I will link down below. Like everybody gets their furniture from Onlejip. And what they have is something called Jiptali, but also this like Jipsajin. So like house photos or like they introduce people's housing to you. And so if you are looking at this picture, for example, and you like what's in it, you can very easily see the items that are there which is a very, very dangerous feature. But what I have been doing today 
is I've been going through the Jiptily section, so it's just like a bunch of people post their homes and they're like of various sizes. Um, a lot of them are like way too <laughs> out of my price range. These are like really massively expensive homes, but some people have like one rooms and things like that. Oh, this one I clicked on because what the heck? Look at this. It's your Jakobshire, but where? Oh, it's in Yangpyeong. That's why. Oh, the dream. The absolute dream. When people ask me like, oh, what's your interior design style? I'm like, I don't care about the interior. I just care about the windows. <laughs> I just want to have nice light and like maybe nature outside yeah and like because a lot of korean apartments are similar you will find layouts like yours so our apartment has like a short little countertop and then it ends and our previous tenant or whatever put a table and i don't really like the table that they chose yeah so our setup is going to be like a little smaller than this basically just sh shrink it but I like that, having the having a little table to like extend your counter space. This is Kurt's style. If Kurt ruled the world, he would have a black leather couch, which I don't mind. At first I was very anti black leather couch and now I have changed my ways. Oh, everything I want is like hundreds of dollars. Why? Okay, okay, wait, this is like our kitchen setup. What did you do, girl? This looks good. The only problem is like, because we're renters, we can't do this. I mean, the before and after. We cannot do but gives you ideas anyway so that's what i've been spending my life on recently uh if you are an interior design fan i'll link that down below but yeah now let's go look at my junk drawers <laughs> moment of truth one issue is i have a ton of skincare which i am very grateful to have received from brands but there's so much that i cannot use them um so i'm gonna check honestly a lot of these might be expired and then if they aren't i'm gonna hand them off to friends so let's look <laughs> just face masks <laughs> if you know you know maybe i'll use this today it's a hand mask why don't i actually use the stuff that i buy okay i actually think my top drawer everything comes with me <laughs> Jackpot. Expired. Oh, so good. Ooh, twenty twenty one. And now for the rest of the day, I will be in editing hell. Uh, it's actually, I'm editing like my favorite videos to edit. It involves a lot of memes. It's for my book channel. But I have five hours of content to <laughs> slim down. So I will catch you guys tomorrow, okay? Okay, good morning. A very quick check-in. Uh, today, we're actually signing the papers. It's moving quite quickly. So we're gonna go sign and then hopefully they'll let us like go in and take a bit of measurements. Uh, so I might be able to show you a little bit. I was having like another little panic of like, are we making a mistake? Should we move, blah, blah, blah. And um, then my crazy neighbor came home with all of his friends. Am I being killed? Maybe, hold on. I'm in someone's parking spot. Yeah, I was I was scared we were making a mistake, but then like a shit ton. As you can see, I live in a really noisy area. And all of his friends came home at Saturday, came home like so drunk, screaming at 7 a.m. Like it's one thing if it's like 2, 3 a.m. Like I get it, you're back home from partying, whatever. 7 a.m., 7.30, they're still screaming and it's 10 a.m. And they're just like drunkenly yelling and ugh. So anyway. I was like, yeah, we're making the right decision. <laughs> this place is gonna be so, so quiet. I'm really excited. So anyway, um, I'm gonna grab a coffee. I saw a corgi this morning, truly a blessing. Um, and yeah, then, then let's go see the house. <laughs>
Oof. Hello, hello, welcome back. Oh yeah, it's a new, it's a new day, checking in. Papers are signed. Every bit of nervousness I had about the house is 99% gone. It's so funny how your memories change and for some reason in my mind, even now, like even though I have pictures and I have measurements, in my mind, whenever I think of the apartment, it gets smaller. So I was getting these moments of like, oh my God, like our clothes aren't gonna fit in the closet and like we can't, da, da, da. it's fine. We went there, the kitchen is bigger than I remember, like everything is bigger than I remembered. So all of my fears and little like late night freakouts, I'm done. Yeah, we're moving in, uh, five weeks but we, we are also going to be in the u.s for about a week and a half is it for that so it's really happening it kind of doesn't feel real because now we're just in the waiting game so now i've just reached the stage where i just need to distract myself like it's not i can't even really do anything yet it's too early to pack things but in terms of me distracting myself my fairy book mother susan is here uh, visiting from the US and she brought me some books. I wanted to give a shout out to this one because I have read 50 pages so far and it's really interesting. So this is Snow Globe. It is by So Young Park and it's translated by Jungmin Lee Comfort. Is her last name? It's a young adult dystopian novel that according to the back of the book um, is compared to The Hunger Games meets squid game so far so good it's sort of like this dystopian world where for some reason now everything is frozen except for this one little protected globe area and everyone who lives in there where it's like temperature controlled really nice they are all actors so if you live in there you're either a director or an actor and your life is filmed 24 7 almost and you are the entertainment for the outside people and the outside people work day and night to create energy to power the snow globe to power the entertainment to power the world you know just in 50 pages there's been just so many interesting little like comments on society and things like that some of the shows that you can watch are really violent some of the shows are very much like the truman show i'm so intrigued however a word of warning this is the first book in a duology and the second book hasn't been translated yet <laughs> um just so you know but yeah it's snow globe i will let you know about that but we're ready we're excited i'm sorry that this video is just me talking at you but it's all that's on my mind um hence again the distraction tactics and yeah god we're down to like the last two videos maybe three in this apartment so see you in a bit now I'm suddenly so sad. Kurt just talked to our current landlord and she officially got our house on the market. And so I have the neighbor Budongsan link. And why do I feel so sad? <laughs> um, I really love this house. Now I have to keep it kind of clean in case people want to come see it, I guess. I hope it knows that it was loved. So fingers crossed it gets scooped up soon. morning editing a very embarrassing video in public which was fun and then i just stopped at chickpeas to get my little falafel salad 
liquid that's so good but making this video made me want to return to my old apartment hunting videos and so i actually watched the one in which we found this apartment and so that was in the beginning of 2019 keep this in mind and this apartment we ended up being able to haggle it down but most of the apartments in this building again one room granted we are in like the Gangnam area so it is more expensive but this one room apartment was a deposit of I'm just gonna say like 1,000 won equals a dollar I know it's not anymore but like let's just for easy sake uh it was basically 50k fifty thousand dollars down deposit and then you pay monthly about a thousand dollars and that was we'll say that was like the typical rental system and that was pretty common for the time like you could find things for five thousand you could find things for fifty thousand but like within that range that was usually the deposit for pretty much anywhere in seoul i was very lucky my basement apartment was four thousand dollars deposit which at the time was like the lowest i could find so we were working in that range in 2019. i was shocked because since they just listed my apartment on neighbor Budongsan, I decided to go check and currently for rent, this is still for rent, you are paying monthly fee. The, dep the rent has stayed relatively the same. It's now listed varying. Um, some of them are within the $800 range. Some of them are all the way up to $1,500. So hasn't changed monthly payment. The deposit that you have to put down in cash all at once, $300,000, as opposed to five years ago, it was 50K, which is still high, but like you potentially, if like for us, two people are living here and we both had like full-time jobs for years before that, we were able to put 50K down without taking out a loan. But $300,000, you need a loan. And that's what so many, like pretty much everywhere in Seoul right now, you can find places still in that like lower range. But because the bank, like there's just a housing crisis here basically where there's enough housing, but nobody can afford to live anywhere. And I know that's like everywhere in the world, but I think because of the Junsei and Wolsei system, in Korea, it makes it like uniquely annoying. A lot of people try to do Junsei because you can just put down a ton of money and then you technically don't pay rent for that time period. You just have to pay, if you took out a loan, you pay the interest on that loan. When we first moved in here um, and we switched, we did like a Ban Junsei. I guess now we're fully Junsei, but like we did Wolsei, Ban Junsei, Junsei. When we first took out a loan for our house, the percentage of that loan was really low. Like we were paying maybe $400 a month um, or we, less than that. But the problem is that interest rate on a loan isn't fixed. It will fluctuate as much as it wants to. And so now fast forward, like two or three years later since we've taken the loan, it's more like we're paying double that. So if you go back to old apartment tours on YouTube that say, we did Junsei and so we're only paying $200 a month because of the loan fees or we're paying $500 a month for this huge apartment. They are not paying $500 a month anymore. We are not paying $400 a month anymore. So those people who are paying 500 might be paying a thousand and there's nothing you can do about it. So um, people are now, because that like the interest rate has just gone crazy, people are trying to switch to Wolsey where they don't have to take out a loan in order to get a house. But the landowners still want that huge amount of money. So they are basically making the Wolsey system banjonse. It makes no sense. And so it's just so difficult to find housing. And so even this place that we're moving to, we're comfortable with it, but it's still like on the upper end of our budget, like, it's a it's a jump from this place certainly so i was just really shocked looking at that like i i hadn't thought about in just this apartment building how much it's changed 50k to 300k and you're still paying rent so anyway i'm going to end the video here i gotta eat we're gonna go to pilates and i need to finish editing this crazy plot summary video um i think once i'm done with this my plate will be less full and i will be kind of less stressed and then I can just stress about the house. So um, yeah, thank you so much. I know that this week was messy, this video was messy, but um, I just really wanted to share it with you and um, I wanna film as much of my house as possible. I'm gonna miss it so much. So now on to figuring out movers and packing up our stuff. 
and showing you the new place. So thank you as always for being here. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this. You can check the info down below, but I have a link. Uh, you can go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain if you are looking to open any kind of online presence. Yeah, I'm starving, so I will catch you guys later, but let me know like if you live in Korea, how y'all doing? Even if you aren't house hunting, I feel like just the rental system in general constantly changing is so stressful. So my heart goes out to you. Let me know how you're doing and um, I'll see you later. Okay. Thank you always.